Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today, as we go back to the great all of faith, we will find Moses. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24 through 27. And we will see that Moses had sacrificing faith, suffering and enduring faith. Hebrews 11 verse 24 through 27. It says, By faith Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. He regarded this grace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt because he was looking ahead to his reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the king's hunger. He persevered because he saw him who is in Visible. So as we see from the scriptures, both Moses and his parents were people of faith. By faith, Moses gave up the comfort of Egypt for the challenge of leading his people. Four things we will look at today that Moses nobly humbly renounced in this chapter or in these verses we see Moses' faith and because of that he renounced sonship to Pharaoh's daughter and the possible kingship of Egypt number two he chose affliction with God's people instead of enjoying the pleasures of sin Number three, he esteemed the reproach of Christ greater than the riches of Egypt. Number four, he had his eyes fixed upon the reward of renouncing sin and pleasure to serve the one true God. So Moses though he was reared in the luxury of Egypt's palace and assured of all the good things that man would desire, that men would strive for. He learned that it is not the possession of things but the forsaking of them that brings rest, that brings the greater reward. So one, as we see, he refused Egypt's fame. He was the adopted son of Pharaoh's daughter, and therefore he was assured of a place as a social elite, perhaps as we say, even as Pharaoh's successor. But he, what, has been born of a better blood, a member of God's chosen earthly people. From this nobility, he could not step down to Egypt's royalty. In his adult years, he made the choice. He would not hide his true nationality to win a few short years of earthly fame and favor. So he is memorialized in God's eternal book. We keep the memory of him. We are speaking of him today. Instead of being found in a museum as an Egyptian mummy, he is famous as a man 
of God, a man of faith, a man who would rather sacrifice and suffer and endure with the people of God. Number two, we saw him repudiate the pleasures of Egypt humbly associate himself with the suffering people of God. This meant more to him than any gratification or of anything else that he could obtain in Egypt. So he didn't mind what was going on. He didn't have an appetite for it. He wanted to be with his people, the people of God. So the privilege of sharing ill treatment with his own people was greater pleasure to him than what living a life in the courts of Pharaoh. Number three, we saw he turned his back on the treasures in Egypt. His faith enabled him to see that the fabulous treasure houses of Egypt were worthless in the light of eternity. So he chose to suffer the same kind of reproach as the Messiah would later suffer. Loyalty to God and love for his people were valued by him more than all the combined wealth of Pharaoh. He also renounced Egypt's monarch. Emboldened by faith, he made exit from the land of bondage. Careless of the wrath of the king. Yes, he feared Pharaoh so little because he feared God so much. He knew that his God was greater. He kept his eyes, the scripture tells us, on the blessed and only potentate, the king of kings, and the lords of lords, the sovereign God of heaven and earth. And he knew that his faith would be rewarded. He has been around long enough to know that if he trusted and depended upon God, that God would reward his faith. God would reward him for renouncing all of these things that was placed before him or he had to his disposal. But he would rather left the pleasures of Egypt and to suffer with his own people. And as you know, this is all because of is bringing up in his earlier years with his mother and father who were also great people of faith. Let us always remember faith has great rewards. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.